Hi, this is Rida again. Today, we are going to discuss very important four scenarios will be repeated in your MRCS exam. First scenario is femoral neck fracture. In femoral neck fracture, especially intertrochanteric fracture, you will find the limb in shortened, externally rotated position. Shortened, externally rotated position. Shortened, as you see here, this apparently shorter than this. Externally rotated position. So you will select femoral neck fracture. Second scenario is posterior hip dislocation. Apparently, the affected limb will be adducted internally rotated and flexed at both joints, hip, flexed at hip and flexed at knee, with knee resting on the opposite normal thigh. The third scenario is hip flexion contracture. Like you see, it's a contracture of the hip joint. Here, the limb will be flexed, especially at the hip joint because of the contraction. Only flexed hip, sometimes knee. But mainly hip and dragging on knee to be flexed with it, like this. The fourth last scenario is anterior hip dislocation. The hip will be flexed. Thigh is abducted away from the axial. And externally rotated like you see. So in very simple short summary, femoral neck entered to canteric fracture the limb will be shortened, externally rotated. Posterior dislocation, the limb will be adducted, internally rotated. Anterior hip dislocation, the limb will be abducted, externally rotated. Hip flexion contracture, flexed hip, dragging on knee to be also flexed. Thank you very much. If you interested to see more, please let us know. Thank you very much.